Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. Did you know every 47 seconds a child is abused or neglected? But it is possible for those children to overcome their hurt and become successful, inspirational adults. U.S. Navy man Walt McKinley is the perfect example, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning, Amanda. Thank you for having me on. I'm excited about this. Absolutely. It's such an important topic, and we want to raise awareness and get the word out, but also, you know, inspire folks and bring hope uh, to kids and adults as well who maybe have had a similar history. First of all, tell us a little bit about your story. So my story really started horrifically. I was abused by every adult that I came into contact with until I was 16. And I really tell my story to give people hope and inspiration that their history doesn't define their legacy because my story is not about the trauma. It's really about the triumph and the comeback. Yeah, talk about your comeback, uh, some of your successes that you've obtained and achieved over the years. Thanks for asking that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, so I testified against my father in court at 16 years old, which was the first time I was ever able to really defend myself um, as a child. And so that really started my comeback. My aunt took me in. She gave me the love for the first time that I had never received. I ended up doing 20 years in the Navy, retiring as an intelligence officer, going into corporate America, doing well there, being an executive in a Fortune 3. And now I've dedicated my life to building a community of warriors focused on becoming a lighthouse in the dark, not only for themselves, but for other people. And then uh, on a personal note, been married 22 years, been with my wife 25 and two have two beautiful wow. teenage daughters so i'm a lucky and blessed man that's for sure wow yeah you have you found a way uh to not let your past you know turn your future you know negative and you've found a way to turn things around so you have some advice you have a book first of all tell us a little bit about your book and then some of the advice that you have for folks yeah so i wrote my memoir monsters in my house a true story um, and the picture on the front is, is my view as a child being thrown and locked in a basement. And I really wrote that to tell people, you can literally go from being locked in a basement to living a life full of abundance. And the last chapter, I put my four keys to living an extraordinary life. And those are the keys that I personally used to let go of that pain that was sitting just inside my chest and in my soul from the trauma I had been through and really fill that same space with love so that I can step into life's abundance and happiness and break the generational cycle of abuse that continues to happen 78% of the time in families. Wow, that's a big number. So yeah, if we could find a way to break that cycle and uh, that is so important. You know, you had your four keys and your four piece, uh, pieces of advice and one of them I, um, I think is interesting. Speaking your truth, so you want to make sure that you get out there and you talk with someone about about your experiences. Yeah, the reason I did was to give those people who feel like they've never had a voice, a voice for the first time. And if we don't have these tough conversations, if we're not realistic about the things that are happening, we'll continue to perpetuate the cycles. And so speaking your truth for me out loud for the first time was like I was drowning my whole entire life and I came up for this breath of fresh air for the first time. And so I tell people that is really a key to stop running and hiding from your trauma and to face it for the last time so that you can move forward and start to look out the windshield of life. And that's when you've accepted and acknowledged that. But also a big one is forgiveness. And I would have to imagine that is particularly difficult. Amanda, that's a great point. And it really was for me. That was the hardest piece for me. Um, but when I realized hurt people hurt other people, and those people who abused me, all of them, who abused me had been abused as children and because they never resolved the emotion and the trauma they went through they transferred that generationally to me i knew that i had to stand up and take a stand and do something different and i knew that forgiveness ultimately was for me so that i can let go of the pain that i was holding on to and the anger i was holding on to um, so that i didn't transfer that to my wife and kids and the people around me so that was tough yeah. But let me tell you, that key um, is, is healing in a way unlike any other. You know, uh, it's such an inspirational story, and I uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning to share that and provide that hope. For people who would like to get your book, where can they get it? They can get it on Amazon, they can get it on Barnes & Nobles, um, or they can go to my website and get a copy there. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and we wish you continued success here in the future. Thank you. Yep, take care. Well, we have much more to, to come on WTOL 11 Your Day. We're